Hello everybody, welcome to the version. My name is Kinky Huang. I'm a lifestyle entrepreneur and also a full-time forex trader. So before I start uh, next week's forex outlook on a uh, cross pair, just some disclaimer. This is just based on my personal bias towards the market. So if you guys are trading with me, please trade with care. So let's get into the chart right now. All right. So for Euro Cat, right? I did share on this pair. Um, last week okay i think i share on the uh, weekly outlook on this entry right i'm not sure if you guys hop on to this trade but if you guys hop on to this trade you should almost hit the take profit already so uh, personally i already out of this trade all right i see price action is pretty good and uh, i'm already out of this trade all right so <clears throat> if you guys are not out right you can actually take your profit okay or you can wait for a tick for it to take profit so right now um personally i still towards the downtrend but i think there might be some sort of like a pullback okay to uh, some percentage so um i'm waiting for some pullbacks okay so right now if you guys see the swing high to swing low i think this area 0 0.5 area or this 0.382 area will be a very good area that we can look to uh, continue to sell all right okay in case there is another pullback all right so if it does not right uh you guys for this trade uh you can do as a trip um trend following already so which means that you can put your stop loss trailing stop loss over here or you can just take profit and then wait for price to retrace and hop on okay it really voice down how you manage so some people just put a uh, throw their stop loss over here so but personally i like to just uh, take the profit already and uh, wait for another opportunity because there's so much opportunity in the market so i don't stick on to one currency i trade a lot of different pairs all right so already out of this trade so um, i'm marking on this area over here so i want to look for entry around this area all right so this one i can delete Okay, this one also can delete. All right, so this one can delete. Overall, I am also um, still towards downtrend on this pair for long term. All right, so um, next is uh, Euro Swiss franc. I also did share and uh, it also hit my take profit area over here. All right, I actually target this resistance. All right. So very nice move, all right. These two pairs, I think, um, earn quite, quite some money from uh, for you guys, all right. So uh, over here, very nice move, head and shoulder set up, all right. So uh, personally, I also think that there is still potential to the downtrend, but right now, um, I see some sort of like a channel over here. If you guys see, this is also sort of like a channel. All right, so I think there might be some pullback. All right, and this once this support is uh, broken, right, we may see some pullback to this area. After that, continuous down. All right, so personally, I still think that there is potential still towards the downside. So if you guys want to trade, can still uh, trade on this pair. Okay, next is a uh, Euro Aussie. All right, Euro Aussie have a big drop. All right, I think I did enter around here, and then I caught this peep. And uh, I uh, out of this trade already. Okay, I sort of like scalp it. All right. So, uh, once this support is broken, right, we can see price coming towards even downwards. But personally, I think that it will come down, touch this, and then retest back here this resistance and continue to go down. All right. So uh, let's see how the market reacts. But overall. I am still also on the downside on this pair. So as you guys can see, all the euro pair, I am more towards the downtrend. So um, uh, please trade with care if you have trade that is against the euro dollar. All right. So next is uh, euro NZD. I also still waiting for this patiently for a breakout. I think I enter around here. All right. And uh, it did not break below and uh, it keep on consolidating around here so right now you can see all the seller is trying to push the price okay i'm still waiting for sell seller to bring down and a uh, buyer is getting weaker and weaker you can see buyer trying to hold the price but no the seller seems like it's coming in soon so not surprised to see one wave down 
All right, so I have a trade over um over here waiting for the breakdown. I think I have already hold almost two weeks. Okay, I actually um thought it may just break below because sort of like a two double top. Okay, but right now seems like a triple. Um, but it's still not moving a lot. All right, so overall I am still holding on to my Euro NZD. Uh for quite some time so i'm waiting for price to come down to this all right so uh, nzd euro nzd is also sell for me pound cat okay pound cat right now is uh holding on to let me draw this trend line over here holding on to this support area okay this is support and uh some resistance okay i personally think that there is still some potential to the downside Okay, so, so in case there is an, any pullback anytime, right, back to this uh, area of support, right, or this trend line over here, I may want to look for a sell. Okay, so um, watch the price action. I may want to draw something along this one about the 20 EMA area around here. Okay, so I want to see what is the feed level of this. Okay, about 0 0.382 0 .3 feet level and 0 0.5 um, feet level of this swing. Okay, 0 0.382, 0 0.5 this swing. All right, so um, this is the level. Okay, a uh, potential level we can look for to um, sell. Okay, when price pull back. All right, in case there is an engulfing candle, right, you can look for a buy, take profit around here. Okay, so go down to the lower time frame. All right. So next is a uh, pound Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc still have not break this structure, all right. But overall, I think it may come up with another wave over here, to here, and touch this trend line before a wave up. Okay, so watch more price action for short term. I think there is a possibility that price may come up to test here and then come up down here again all right so overall this is uh, my bias towards um, pound swiss franc okay pound nzd i am actually waiting for price to break below but it didn't it actually sort of like holding here for many time but i'm still on the sell why? Because this is a double top setup and uh, price has been uh, holding the neckline for twice retest and we can see this um, pin bar over here. Just that this support hold pretty well. So once this support is broken, we can see price come back down to the 200 EMA area. Alright, so um, you can go to the lower time frame to look for a good entry. Personally, I see this do not have a very good risk to reward, so I don't take this trade. But if but overall, I think there is a potential that price may come down to this trend line. So uh, you guys can um, look at the lower time frame and maybe trade trade on a small lot on this. All right. So next is uh, AUD CAT. All right, AUD CAT um, right now is holding on to the resistant area. All right, but the buyer is not very strong yet. So I am not comfortable to go for an aggressive buy. So personally, I'm staying sideline on this pair, but um, looking at it, all right, this is considered a pretty strong support. All right, and uh, I think price may come out and do one more wave. So uh, if you guys want to trade, you can trade this pair for a buy aggressively. But um, manage your stop loss, okay? You can want to put your stop loss over here in case it just break below, all right? Somewhere around here. Or you want to just uh, give it a buffer, okay? You can put a stop loss around here, all right? So um, personally, I think there is still possible to create another wave. Okay, so next. Oh, this is ring. Oh, I, do, I don't really like this pair for the longest time, so I always stay at the sideline. If you guys um, watch my few weeks webinar on uh, Outlook, right? I, I tell you guys that um, this pair I don't like, I'm very uncomfortable. It is really, really choppy, all right? So, but it's really good for scalping if you really have a good scalping EA, all right? But 
personally, I don't really like the price action. So I am out. I am um on the sideline on this trade. All right. So uh, I still think that if price action is good, we may see price to create another wave. But I think it will take really really long. All right. So I'm on the sideline. If you guys want to trade this pair, you can look for a buy. But please take note that this is on a downtrend movement. You can see 200 EM below 200 EMA and uh, 20 and 50 EMA is also towards downtrend. So it may broke anytime below. All right. So uh, watch price action and trade with care. Next is uh, Aussie Yen. All right. Aussie Yen, I am also on the sideline because right now it is in the middle of this uh, support and resistance. And I'm not sure whether they are going to go up or go down. So pretty easy. You can uh, either wait for price to break this. It may go up. Okay, or it breaks this below, it may go down. All right, so um, or you can what you want, you can do some hedging strategy. But um, personally, it's not a very perfect entry for hedging, so I do not take this trade. I rather stay at the sideline to uh, wait for more price action. But overall, I am on the buy sell side in the long term because uh, price is still under two hundred EMA, and uh, we are on a downtrend on all the yen pair. All right, so this is uh. Aussie Yen. Aussie NZD is also another pair that I sort of like dislike, but overall I am on the bias towards the upside, okay? Because um, you can see this is a wave down and the price is sort of like moving towards the uptrend. So potentially, I think on the swing, right, I think it can go up to the 0 0.618 retracement level, oh, which is here. All right, still holding on to this. All right, this 0 0.618, they did sort of like a pull towards downtrend. All right, so uh, watch this level, okay? In case it broke this resistance, we can go even higher, okay? But if this resistance still holds, it breaks down, then we can, it can go even lower. So it depends, but overall, um, the movement is 0 0.618, it dropped. After that, it come and test your point six one again, again, and it rally. So when it holds right, most likely it will sort of like breaks above. As you can see, this is like a descending channel and sort of like break it. So I'm actually waiting for price action from here. If this broke right, you can see um uh, it goes towards uptrend. But um I have. I have actually stay at sideline for Aussie pair for quite some time because uh they are really pretty choppy and not much movement. Okay, so I rather don't waste my time to watch. I see more volatile. Um, there's more pairs that have more volume, so I rather trade those pairs. All right. So next is NZD Swiss franc. It's also the same. All right. Personally, I am on downtrend on this pair. All right. Price actually um sort of like breaks below. All right. So seems like it may come and create another lower lower low. All right. It may come down and create lower low. After that, sort of like consolidating like this. All right, so um, you guys can uh, watch the price action, but overall, it's sell on this pair. All right, next is NZD Yen. NZD Yen, pretty straightforward. Okay, you guys can see the wave is something like this. Okay, so overall, I am still on the sell side on this pair. Okay, um, we want to see price to come down to this area. Okay, so this is NZD Yen. Next is a cat yen. Cat yen still sort of like a struggling, but I think price may be forming like a higher. It may form a stay hold around this area of a resistance, and maybe trade around here. All right, sort of like a side higher, higher high something like this. All right, so um, watch more price action, or it may form something like this wave and then breaks below again so watch price action on this um, personally short term short okay short term sell on this pair or it may just come out and touch the 200 ema and rally rally up again okay so uh, trade with care on this one um, personally i don't really uh, think there is much more movement so um, if you want to sell right look on the lower time frame and scalp i don't think there is big movement on this pair Okay, so for this um, cat, right, 
Swiss franc. I am still waiting for price action because you can see the bullish candle is getting weaker and weaker. So not surprised to see the wave down over here. All right. I took a sell over here and um, on this candle and uh, price go against us because that time there is about two double top. Hey, sorry, I think I enter here. I think I enter here a very aggressive one to sell over here. And uh, I saw the top sort of like a double top and I assumed that price will come. And uh, price did not go on my way and it went up. Okay, so personally, it's still holding on to this area of support and resistance. So it has not broken. So I still think that there is potential to the downside. So maybe price action will be sort of like consolidating around here before it breaks below. So I am still patiently waiting. All right, I actually ladder my trade over here. I took an entry over here. I have one entry over here. So I got two, two entry, one here, one here. All right, so when it goes against me, I may want to even um, wait for more price action. If this area broke, right, I want to hatch it already, which means that I got two lot here and then I will took a buy here and then maybe take profit around 0 0.618 area. Okay, it really depends on how the market moves. So a lot of different ways I, I do my trading. So um, just sharing with you guys some of the ways. It's a little bit aggressive and also a little bit high risk. So if you are not comfortable with this, right, so uh, please do not follow because uh, uh, what I do is a little bit high risk and aggressive because I already um, get used to the market already. All right, so next is uh, Swiss franc yen. All right, Swiss franc yen still holding on creating higher high and higher low. And uh, right now seems like a double top to me. All right, this neck nine. So once this is broken, right, then we can look for a sell on this pair. So as you guys see my yen pair, right, mostly are on the sell side. All right, so um, that should be all for this week uh, cross pair. So if you guys have questions or anything, feel free to drop me an email or and you are, if you guys are not in my uh, telegram group okay feel free to join i always drop some uh, good setup and uh, content sharing on my uh, telegram group okay so if you want to really like uh, learn something okay my telegram is actually a very good platform to learn okay but if you just want signal free signal and all this then i'm sorry um this this may not be the place okay i am actually here okay not to just give signal and you guys follow blindly okay i'm here to teach people that who are keen that's why i don't do ex uh, link exchange if you guys in telegram you see i don't do link exchange because uh, i'm not here just to just give signal and then you just trade blindly and do not know just rely on me or anything i do not like this okay i want people who are keen and i I do this because I know that um, in this industry, it's very difficult. If you, you don't understand well, unable to earn money. Okay, so I, I create this platform is for people that who is keen to learn and uh, they want something um, for themselves, all right? Okay, and not just rely on other people, okay? Or just want to earn quick money. So that's why I am a little bit different from uh, other groups in the Telegram. All right, so um, in... The group is not suitable for you, then just to join. All right, so um, I'm pretty straightforward because uh, I don't really earn much money from any of you guys over here. Okay, I'm purely really um, because of passion, so I do this type of sharing and uh, spend my time doing my homework because I'm I need to do homework every weekend. So I rather do it together with everyone, and um, some people can learn at the same time. All right, so um, that is all about um my service over here. So if you guys are keen and have a question, feel free to drop me an email or text me on Telegram. All right. So uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys again. Goodbye.